system is going to be totally devoured by the Antichrist. And uh, Michael Steele, he also said Jews are responsible for being persecuted. Should John McCain renounce that endorsement? I, I guess, I mean, I, I'm unfamiliar with that particular uh, comment that this pastor has said, but if that's in fact the case and, and the McCain campaign feels that it is an issue or something that they do, do not want to be associated with, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think the same is true with Barack. I mean, the interesting thing about Barack is instead of just coming out and saying, no, this is this is not something that I support and I, I you know, denounce it, he kind of did the dance. And I think that's what creates more of an issue and more of a story. Well, what do you mean dance? Uh, what what does he have to do? He, he's rejected well, I mean, the look, I mean, come on, you, H, uh, Alan, you watched it, you saw it, you know exactly what the dance was. And until Hillary actually pinpointed the words and, and put it in, put it in the proper perspective and context of the conversation. Um, Michael, he renounced it. Well, John McCain is honored did. to get the endorsement of a guy who blasts Catholics and says no, Jews are responsible for I mean, their own fine, persecution. Hillary did. If, when if you were so honored, if you were so honored, if you, if you are so honored, then take the endorsement and move on. But right, let me, let me, Mark, let me, let me, let me step in here. If if you found, if I told you tonight that my pastor gave a lifetime achievement award to David Duke, what would you think of me? Uh, it w it would really depend, Sean. I mean, it, it may not change what I think of you at all. But but I think the question is no, what? no, no, no. I don't want what your question is. No, no, no. no, 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 no wait, wait, wait. Stop. Let me stop. Let me answer the question. My pastor gave a lifetime achievement award and matter. praised David Duke. It would matter. What would you think of me and that church? It it would depend on how you respond to the endorsement. Barack Obama very clearly said that he did not approve of his pastor's endorsement. Do you think it would be appropriate for me to go to? Do you think it would be appropriate? Would it be appropriate for me to associate? with a pastor that gave a Lifetime Achievement Award to David Duke, or would that be inappropriate? You, but I don't, I don't accept the, the idea that David Duke and Louis Farrakhan are on the same, on the same level. You don't? Know, Louis Farrakhan, who said the white man's the skunk of the planet Earth and Judaism's a gutter religion? Is he, do you believe Louis Farrakhan is an anti-Semite and a racist, Mark? I do not. I do not represent Louis Farrakhan. What I can I say, is, Mark. No, no. Stop. I, I can't speak answer for him. the question, Mark. I, I, I I'm asking know. you a question. I'm, I, is he a racist and an anti-Semite? I do not. I do not know whether he is anti-Semite. When I do he not says believe the he white man is the skunk of the planet Earth and that Judaism is a gutter religion, uh, those quotes are both severely out of context. But the point you know here, what? no, 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 no. But, stop but, right you're, here. You're diverting, no, stop it. You're diverting you, this attention away from Barack a... Obama. The, question, the, the point here is that Barack Obama no. has denounced those things. And all you're doing is muddying you the water by ignoring the fact that Barack is Obama your, has denounced Where denied. is your moral courage? Where is your moral strength and your integrity and your core values and your principles? I'm he has a history of anti-Semitism and I'm racism. I'm right now. And you don't have the moral courage to condemn it. And I find that reprehensible. What I find reprehensible is the fact that you are diverting attention away from the fact that Barack Obama has clearly no, I'm telling you that it's wrong Barack that his Obama pastor, the endorsement of his pastor gave a lifetime Obama. achievement award to this guy. And, 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 and Obama something. said he didn't approve of it. What else do you want him to do, Sean? I don't understand, Michael Steele. Why is there this reluctance among so many to identify Louis Farrakhan for the hate monger, the anti-Semite, and the racist that he is? Well, I think, I, I think Sean, that, that, that you have to come at this from two different perspectives. One is the perspective that you have, and the other is the perspective of a lot of African Americans who have, who have been in the field with Farrakhan, if you will, who've worked and toiled with him, exactly. and, under, and understand the context in which some of the comments that others in this country review as reprehensible and outrageous, as consistent with a pattern of behavior by those who have oppressed and repressed yeah. the black community. So you've got to keep it in the context here. And I think at the end of the day, you know, those words, those ugly words are harsh and they're, and they're well, terrible and they should be I would be never announced. be a part of a church that honored somebody Understood. with racist and anti-Semitic views. And I think Barack Obama has a lot of questions to, have, to answer as this campaign He's goes on. Thank you guys for being with us. Senator Trent Lott tells us...